couple of guys who were there before us did a you know, great job of showing us what it's like to be Spartans, what it's like to work, and, and we just want to you know, help the younger class get there and get them back to understanding you know, what it takes to win and you know, how you got to go about your business to be successful. Just think someone, you know, regardless of starts, just having some some guy with confidence at the center position, he sets the whole thing. So regardless of who's there, he needs to have that. And you know, any time you have a lot of experience, you know, that gives you confidence. And I think just you know having the experience and knowing you know all the ins and outs of defenses and stuff like that, it you know gives other guys confidence and the ability to have them play better. What stands out to you about? I mean, I know it's a ways off, but about Michigan and, and what they bring on the defensive line. Yeah, uh, they always have a good D-line. I think last year, go and say we, they were probably the best D-line we played. That kind of you know hurts to say, you know, being Michigan, but you know, they're a real good competitive group, and I wouldn't expect any fall off this year, even with their guys graduating. You know, so. What do they do? They do anything differently than other defensive lines, or is it just no, just, just talent? yeah, good guys up front. And what does it mean to you to be here back home, kind of representing the university? I'm just. I don't know. It's just a, another step in the process of getting into the season. I don't think too much about it. Well, in terms of, I know you know, with Jack, you had a hard time like, keeping up over 300. I, mean, I know you're listening to 300. Is keeping that weight on, is that been a problem for you? I have a problem keeping it off, actually. I was about 330 this summer, so I can get fat real quick if I don't watch it. <laughs> How about as far as like getting back that good chemistry? What are some of the steps that you and other leaders are taking just to get back to the chemistry that you guys had when you were coming in? Yeah, just hanging out with guys in the off season, you know, hanging out with different groups of people. You know, everyone, you know, leaves the building and they have their five or ten friends. And, you know, we've really just been stressing to really include everyone and try and reach out and, you know, hang out with people you don't hang out with usually. And we started a bowling league. I don't know if you guys heard about it, but Tuesdays, yeah, we have a bowling league over at Spare Time in uh, East Lansing. So you go there and, you know, five guys each week from a position group. You know, we kind of have a round robin phase right now, but... Going into camp when we have our like our night activities, we're gonna have a tournament. So we're uh, doing stuff like that and trying to have barbecues, cookouts, and I think it hasn't even really been like forced things. You know, it's been you know guys just wanting to, to get that back. And locker room's been more fun. And we shuffled around lockers. We're usually numerical, and now we you know different guys in different areas. So I'm next to a wide receiver and a DB right now. So just different stuff like that to you know make sure you're around other people. So give me a little bit more information on the bowling league. Who's good? And who really sucks? Uh, Coach Burton. We have a we have like a leaderboard in the locker room. It's on the TV. So uh, Coach Burton is the worst bowler. Yeah, he, he bowled like a 50 or something. And then for the first two weeks, I was the reigning champ. I had like a, a 172. I think was my best. I've only gone once. And then last week, Colin Lucas surpassed me. So I think I'm in second place right now. He's in first, and I think Coach Staten's actually in third. So, but. Anybody have their own, their own bowling balls? Anyone like Brandon? No, no. Byron Bola has his own bowling shoes, actually. So I don't know. I don't know where those came from, but he, but he has them. Probably so. In the yeah, I don't know. So no, that's the only thing like that. You mentioned your weight. What are you at right now? 305. So you're so. up to 330. This. How do you, yeah. How'd you put the pounds on, and how'd you take get them off? I, I like to eat, so I don't know. Pretty similar. Oh yeah. I, I don't know. I don't have a hard time losing weight or anything like that. I was probably that in like June. So I've been. Focusing on that, just trying to get it down and eat healthy so I can pass our conditioning test. So. And, and being center, obviously, I mean, how much? I know you played a little there last year. I mean, you going in with a different mindset this year that this is your job. You're not maybe shuffling to yeah. you know guard and, and no. back and forth. That now this is your spot. And it's yours to own. And yeah, I mean, I've played guard so much that it kind of just comes second nature now. Just the plays, the playbook, stuff like that. So I'm just getting used to the different different stuff at center that comes at me. What are your thoughts just in general on the Michigan-Michigan State rivalry? It's the biggest week of the year for us in the regular season, so whenever that week comes, there'll be you know extra incentive to win that one for us. You said you like to eat. What's your favorite food on a cheat day? On a cheat day? I haven't had one of those in a while, but any anything. I don't know. I can. We're in Chicago, Portillo's. Yeah. <laughs> Have you made it back since you, uh, since you got here? To Portillo's? Yeah. No. Uh, no, no, I haven't been there yet. Coach Santonio kind of came into his speech this year, noting how different it was than when he was here last year, talking about how change is sort of a team. Yeah. What are two or three tangible changes you've seen from leadership and coaching staff and such that have taken place because of everything that happened on the field and off the field? 
Yeah, just, uh, I mean, anytime you have a season like last year, the attitude has to change. And I think a lot more people are coming in more focused and just kind of with that, you know, lunch pail mindset and we're here to work and it's not when we're in the building it's not time to have fun really it's time to get better at football or get stronger get better at film whatever we're doing the focus is that and I just think the attitude's been better but you know at the same time when people see you know guys working hard it makes it more fun to be around it makes it you know prouder to be a Spartan just that guys are working at that and getting back to that so it's, it's cool to see everyone working the way we are right now. Gerald you said that uh, focus he used that specific word is the only difference between D'Antonio last year compared to this year coming off an 11 win season is different than coming off a three win season what's the biggest change you've seen in him from a year to year basis considering what you guys have been through this offseason? You know, just with the the teams we've had in the past he hasn't had to preach that because it's been there and you know we've taken care of our business but you know you know, winning takes care of everything, like people say. But just like you said, just focusing on that, just getting back to our, you know, our morals and you know what our program is and you know what we stand for. I think it's been uh, kind of his message. And with that, once we're there and you know once we you know, show who we are again, that'll just take care of a lot of things. And when you see something like Phil Steele comes out with a coaches must like a must win list for coaches, and you see D'Antonio show up on it, what's the, the reaction like in that locker room when you guys see something like that? That's the first I've heard that, and. Don't think about it, and they can, you know, write whatever they want. But you know, doesn't doesn't matter to us. You mentioned the uh, Michigan rivalry before. Yeah, I wouldn't think like that about them. Yeah. You mentioned the Michigan rivalry before, and it has, it's the biggest. Did last season the way it went for you guys, and the way it went for them, and the fact that they actually beat you guys for the first time in, in, in a while, uh, did that change up the rivalry in your perspective? Just makes us hungrier to beat them, you know. We're not. It's the first time I lost to them, you know. We're not used to losing to them, and it's just something that, you know, this this class doesn't want to go out as. So, you know, the seniors right now are two and one or three and one, and I mean that's that's a long ways off. That's not even you know a thought right now. But just the, like every week, you know, that 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 week's you know one you really want to win and you know go out with, and especially being a senior, you know, you don't want to you know go out losing to them.